words in your mouth. How how do you describe uh, what has happened? A few of you can't accept that already, so obviously <laughs> I have to uh, these now do all the stuff um, myself. So first and foremost, and um, congratulations to Aston Villa and all credit to Aston Villa because they deserve these three points massively. So and um, because they played a really good game, the the, the strange result um, is. Yes, because Aston Villa played really well, and on the other side, because we did in different areas, particularly bad, and uh, that helps. Then obviously not. Um, the, look, today, tonight, pretty much everybody made massive mistakes uh, um, around the goals, and the first one was obviously Adrian. Um, but the reaction the, that that was a big mistake, yes. But the reaction on the goal was even a bigger mistake. How we reacted because it looked like. Um, so we have to take risk when we play offensively. It's absolutely clear. Um, that's completely normal, and that's that's football and all this stuff. But you have to protect your risk. That's that's normal as well. Uh, these situations, and um, we didn't do that tonight. That means we had really nice chances, played really good football, came in the box, blah blah blah, blah in moments undefendable in the box, which is pretty rare. Um, but each ball we lost, wherever it was, was a massive counter attack, and directly a, a, a real a real problem. So second goal. Third goal, free. I think the third goal was a free kick, if I'm right. Um, so really well done. They were now already quicker in mind than we were, um, and all these things in the challenges, they were they were more consequent, um, and that um, that caused that all caused us problems. So being four one down, but I think even probably even you when you saw the game felt um, when we scored the, the one goal, it was like okay. So um, there's, there's, there's still something to go for, and that's what we thought as well in half time. If we can stop doing the, the under average stuff or the bad stuff, and um, and can improve the good stuff, score one, score two, game on. But this was not possible tonight because um, we made similar mistakes again, and then the, the, the deflected goals came in. But uh, that's of course unlucky, but it's as well. Um, I said now a couple of times, it's like you can the deflectable can be completely unlucky. I thought tonight it was a little bit um, uh, a fifty percent block, like we didn't block it properly. That's why the ball was deflected. So um, and we concede these goals. Strange scoreline, um, but we have to accept that. And the only good news actually is um, nobody was injured after the game. One more, in, um, yeah. You went into the game though without Allison. Um, Adrian played. Um, how damaging is it for Adrian? And, and, and with Allison now, uh, he has this shoulder injury. Is, is it broken? What are his chances of playing against Everton? No chances to play against Everton. Um, so we don't know exactly. So you know, in this with this situation, so it. Let me say it could have been worse with the injury. That for sure. Um, uh, that's for sure. So we were slightly lucky, but um, it's not that he can play against Everton. So um, he, he, I don't want to put a time frame in it, but four weeks could be possible. Six weeks is maybe more likely, but I don't know. So we have to we have to further assess this thing, and um, so that's how it is. But look, not only for because of tonight, but. Um, it's now easy and people are like this and maybe I'm not sure if journalists are like this as well, but now people will go for Adrian and stuff like this and will say this all. Um, yes, the first goal was not cool, of course, but apart from that, he was. I don't think he had anything to do with all the other goals pretty much. So we, 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 we didn't help him tonight, let me say it like this, or we did even the opposite. And um, so, yeah, he's a, he's a really good goalie who played last year, 11 games for us, and uh, I think we won pretty much all of them, if I'm right, and um, so that's all fine. Um, tonight was not our goalie was not a problem. Um, only around the first goal, um, and the reaction for that first goal yeah, that was not his problem. That was then our problem, and um, yeah, we ha we have to do that. But we can do that better. It's quite strange. Look, when you see a game like this, it's now not that I saw these games like twenty times from my team, and um, and I see all these things, and I know I'm old enough to know that strange things can happen in life and in football. Um, but I saw all the things that happened tonight, and I know that um, if you lose the decisive challenges, you will lose football games, and we did that tonight. If you um, uh, protect your own offensive stuff not properly, you will get in trouble. 
And we got in trouble tonight. And all these things happened tonight. You could see in moments, and I don't think I had to say that a lot, but tonight in different challenges, Aston Villa definitely wanted it more than we, than us. And um, so um, that's something I, 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 I saw and um, I don't like, obviously, but now the boys go to their national teams and um, when they come back, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully healthy, all of them, then we have two days time to prepare the Everton game and um, then we have the chance to do better. Thank you, Ian. We've got Dom King followed by James Pierce. That's it at the moment for hands up. So, Dom, you're next and then we'll go to James. I'm not sure if that's important, but I see on the screen only David Hitner. Oh, the name, not... Yeah, it's uh, <coughs> they can hear you, so it's... Oh, OK. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dave, go on, Dom. Okay, I uh, yeah, you seem um, remarkably um, calm after what it's been. Obviously, your, it's your heaviest defeat since you've been at Liverpool. Um, is it is it as you said because you know this is just a one off, and and you know how to correct it, or how, how can you so you, you're so measured about it tonight? Nothing what I could say tonight would help um, with that result. So why should I be now um, completely outraged or something like that? Uh, um, is it only one off? I would think so. I would like to think so, but it's not. Even that I cannot prove tonight. So um, if people want to hear that, I can say that that's one off. Um, but the, 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 the proof of that will be in the next couple of weeks and months and stuff like this and not because I say it tonight. So the game like tonight should not happen. 100% never happened. Since we, since I'm here, I, I don't really remember, but I'm not good in remembering these things anyway. Um, don't think I, I lost that high. Not a personal defeat, but it's um, it's a it's a massive one. Um, so all the things uh, you saw as well, and you can make of it what you want. Obviously, that's completely fine. Um, how always, um, but for me, it's only important how we react on that. The only problem is we cannot react tomorrow. We can react on Tuesday. We can we have to show the reaction in two weeks. But that's fine. That's the situation. And um, I said the two, the boys are very, very self-critical. None of them would now sit there and, and, and put a finger on him or him or him and think he was responsible. These boys are very self-critical. I know tonight everybody has his, um, his hand in this, in this uh, result. And so uh, we, have to, we have to deal with it and we will deal with it. It's not nice, but it's, the, it's life and it's football. And so that's it. Okay, guys, we've got James Pierce. I've got no other hands up, uh, so it'll be James to finish unless anyone else does. So, My James. answers were that long that all questions are answered. <laughs> Go on, James. Finish Jürgen, James. Jürgen, obviously, Jürgen, you lost, you, you lost Thiago and you lost Sadio Mane to COVID going into this game, and you lost Alisson. Did you feel that the preparations weren't right? Did, did, you, did you fear something like this happening? <laughs> I mean, uh, that, that's really for supporters and journalists, like these kind of things. He is not in, he's not in, he's not in. We, I really, that's, I have no need for one excuse. Absolutely not. But, but I would, each, whatever team we could have lined up tonight, um, I wouldn't expect to lose 7 2, to be honest. So that's, that's 100%. So it's just, it was not necessary. It was absolutely not necessary. I said it in the beginning, and it's true. Aston Villa did really, really well, but he helped as well. We helped as well. So, and this game has then his own dynamic. And then if, when it goes in that direction, we know that then one team is flying and the other team is obviously not flying or um, the opposite of that. And so that's how things can happen. But it should not happen. The, the problem now we can say that 4 1 down in half time, usually a team would say, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we try another five minutes. If it doesn't work, then we, then we just um, defend. That's not us and everybody in the, not the stadium, but everybody who saw the game had the game, we scored once, we scored a 4 2, then probably game on or not. Not if you, if you play like tonight, but if we can then improve in the game, then game would, would have been game on. So, as I said, it's um, no, it had nothing to do with the players we missed tonight. Um, yes, we missed them, obviously, but they were, had nothing to do with the result, and especially not the players who replaced them. Yeah, and, and usually win, win or lose, you you tend to not say much to the players straight after the game in the dressing room and have then your debrief at Melwood the following day. Obviously, with the international break, will you be denied that? And and did that change the way you you approach things in the dressing room after this game? No, actually, I don't know since when, but already since a while, I, I speak to the players after the game. Um, 
if we, if, even if we win or if we lose, it's not, it's not to do with that. So I spoke to the boys, yes. But it's more, but it's clear when you go, when the boys go on international, then I do that always, maybe slightly longer. Um, but today I, I did it like last week, the week before, like in the last probably 20, 30 games, I would say. So I always speak shortly to the players. Thanks, guys.